All right, guys, welcome back. So today, guys, we're currently back here on Offered Outlaws once again, as you guys can see here. Now, yesterday, I went ahead and made a video drifting around the built new 2022 Duramax. Now, this thing slides corners pretty good, and especially if you put it in four-wheel drive, you can whip out that back end, slide for a little while, and uh, not overcorrect it. It'll grab right back up after your drift um, if you put it in four-wheel drive. So I've kind of made this truck really not on purpose a drift truck. But I figured we could purposely make a tiny, small, lowered drift truck today. Alrighty, guys, now I have a couple different vehicles that can wheelie. Now, I want to show you guys real quick this built Bronco that I accidentally made a wheelie Bronco right here. Now, this thing will climb over just about anything and everything. But at the same time, if you put it in a straight line, it'll just lift that front end up. And I don't really know how I did it. I'll have to look back how I tuned up that suspension and everything and built it how I did um comment down below if you guys want a full build series not build series but just like one video just going through the full build of this thing and then also the demo of it showing you guys how it performs in the rocks and the mud and and also just how it wheelies on any terrain it's, it's pretty gnarly uh vehicle i built here this bronco but then i also have a blazer i built a wire a while back um it's not that one but yeah this blazer i'd built a while back and you guys i'll be able to notice it as soon as i get to it uh, I've made a couple different videos with it, and you guys will probably know it. Uh, this thing, it wheelies, and I didn't really build it for it to wheelie, but if you guys didn't already know, in Offered Outlaws, if you have a vehicle that'll wheelie, it'll go through literally any mud hole. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I, this thing, I've done mud challenges and mud maps on it in this thing, wherever my blazer's at. I don't even know where it's at, but we called it the Bouncy Blazer or whatever. I forget what I called it. I made it a while back. Man, I must have passed it already. Yeah, I must have passed it already. Well, you guys get the point. You guys can look up the Bouncy Blazer or whatever I'd called it. And yeah, I'd made just this big uh, giant blazer that happened to wheelie every time you touch the gas and it'll ride a pretty solid wheelie for a while maybe i i know i didn't get rid of it i don't know where it is actually but yeah anywho we're going to be building a drift truck today because i have vehicles that wheelie yeah, i actually made a, a duramax here a little while back that can uh drift really good so i figured i'd purposely try to make a cool drift truck today so we're going to hop into the dealership and we're going to do this step by step so that i don't have to go through the full build or anything in a separate video Alrighty guys, so we got a, the first things first we're looking for, what we're looking for is a tiny truck. We just got to get like a really tiny truck. I was thinking maybe this one, not too sure yet, but I'm pretty sure, you know, this look pretty good. Uh, lowered and uh, with the big uh, wheels and tires on it. And yeah, we can just pretty much slam it and slide some corners in it. So that's really what I'm looking for first things first is just a small truck that we can turn into just a, a little drifting machine here. Alrighty guys, now I was also thinking this truck as well, but maybe if, maybe for another video. We just got to get the tune down, so I think I'm going to practice it on the third gen Cummins over here, the shorty, short bed, uh, single cab, right here. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to buy for 20 grand here. Now we got to get the color here uh, figured out first for max horsepower. We're going to tint all the windows and the headlights and make it white. Yeah, we're going to make it white, metallic white. There we go. And for the rims, I think I'm going to go with uh, some nice big black rims here. So we're going to do that. Let's turn the bead and spoke black. And let's find what rim we're going to use. Now, I'm kind of a big fan of these rims right here. Just because there's really no design. You can't really see through them. They're just plain black. Once you make them black like this. Here you go. So I'm a pretty big fan of these wheels. So we're going to go with that. And obviously for the tires, we're going to go with these ones right here. So, hold on. I just want to see which ones have the worst traction on the road here. Okay, these actually don't have very good traction, so maybe I'll have to run those. Oh, these actually don't have, like, any good traction. But I don't know if they'll drift, though. I don't know if they'll slide is the thing, because maybe they don't have good road traction, but I don't know. I was thinking, not these ones, but I was thinking these ones slide pretty good, but they do have some pretty good road traction on them. So, let's just stick with the stock tires first. Alrighty, guys, we'll, we'll just see how it goes and then we're going to go ahead and uh make the fenders um cut up i mean these are kind of just like raised up you can't really tell they're like cut out like most of the trucks here moving removing the front and rear bumper 
and we don't need light bars or anything like that. Well, actually, heck, why not? It doesn't hurt anything. Going to put some light bars on the front. We want to be able to see where we're drifting if we do some night drifts through a city or something like that. And just because we're going to do side exit exhaust right here. And, of course, the gun rack. And we don't need a toolbox. We're going to be sliding. I don't want to chuck out a toolbox or anything like that. And what would be really gnarly is if Offered Outlaws would ever, maybe in a future update, I, I was wishing, maybe hoping for sooner or later, you know, some big Dodge Tomiers that there's a button that you can flip them up and flip them out. But either way, they're going to stick out just enough. But uh, you can also flip them down. And uh, I wish they'd put in just, just the Tomiers so you can also hit a button to flip them up. I feel like that'd be something pretty cool, but maybe they're working on it. Who knows? All right, 34 grand later. Now let's get into upgrades. Build out our uh, 5924 valve here. Let's do this here. All right, obviously diesel swap it. Now I'm going to make it a uh, manual here and maxed out turbo. All righty, guys. Our Duramax is built. Time to get into the tuning side of things when it comes to suspension. So let's just try to find... What I think would slide the best, which I'm thinking, heavy duty salt axle pro. Let's let's do that, cause why not? Yeah, salt axle pro heavy duty. Let's go for it, right there. Okay, now let's tune it up. Let's max it out. Stage five front and rear. Got to tune it up. No, my. I mean, this will be the build video, and we'll get a little bit of uh, the sliding action going for it too. Wait, hang on. I did not mean to install different tires on the front. I didn't even notice I did that. Alright, tires. There we go. Right there. Alright. That's what we're going to go with. Now back to the suspension tune here. I'm going to go ahead and lower it to point twenty. It's not going to be that lowered, but it is going to be sitting a little bit low. And now that we slammed it in the back completely, we got to lower it just a little bit more in the front, keep it level, not leaned or anything like that. And now, axis width, we're going to stick out the tires. Uh, we're going to make it pretty wide, probably about 0 .08 front and rear, 0 .08 right there. Alright, now, time to go stage 5 front wheels and rear wheels. And we're going to go wheel radius... Well, and it'll slide better if they're a little bit smaller. So we're going to go 0.9, just just right down from 1.0. And, oh, I didn't, make it, didn't mean to make them that wide. I thought I was on the rim size. All right, but, yeah, we are still going to make them wide, though. Hang on, on the fronts, because I want some good steering going on here, we'll go 1.3. Now, for the rear, now that's wheel radius. Should we make them pretty wide? I don't know if we should make them that wide or not. It might give it a little bit more grip. Alright, let's just do the same size front and rear. I'm going to go with 1.4 front and rear. Right there. Okay. Now rim size. Let's just go with... Uh, now let's just keep it like, you know, normal. Kind of more practical. 1.2. Now... With a drift truck, you know, I, I should have hood stacked it, but the side exit was calling my name. Alright, then we can also get into uh, gear tuning later, and if I ever do tune this thing up a little bit more off camera when I'm not recording, and then I'll teach you guys, once I get it, once I get the tuning down just perfect, then I'll show you guys uh, the tune, share with you guys the tuning for the gearbox, if it makes it any better, because I want like a boost right off the beginning so I can slide corners real, really clean alright so the main map we're gonna run is first of all gonna be if I can find it first alright finally found my map I don't know what if I was just looking over it or, or what but I just went ahead and hit the rating all the way up now I can find Twin Rivers like uh, uh, perfect four lane roads that we can slide on for days so this is gonna be pretty fun oh there you go so it has no traction in the dirt, but we want to see on the road here. Uh, once we hit the asphalt, I'll show you guys. Oh, there you go. We slid that corner a little bit. We're also going to try out, is four-wheel drive better with this truck to drift or is rear-wheel drive? All right, we're going to go wide at it. All right, we slid just a little bit. We need to get some more speed coming at it. Get a little bit of slide going. All right, let's try it. 
Hmm. That didn't work very good. You see, the idea is there that it should slide. All right, slide it. Okay, kind of got it right there. All right, a little bit of a slide there. Okay, right there we got it. All right, about 90 miles an hour. All right, a little bit of a slide, and, and we continued it. Oh, that was pretty good. So when I'm sliding and I slow down rapidly, I can continue sliding at a solid speed. All right, there you go. Just a little something. Just a little something. All right, we're going to try this right here. I mean, it was a little bit of a slide. All right, coming at the railing, a little bit of a slide. I mean, it just kind of whips out the rear end, but then it doesn't follow through, you know. But I, I want some big slides that that are pretty consistent. Right there, I even tried to slide in. It wouldn't let me slide. Hmm. All right, a little bit of a slide. I mean, we're only getting tiny slides. I don't know what it is. It just kind of slides for a little bit and then hooks back up, but then it slows down too much, you know. But hang on, this is what I kind of want to find out here is if I just come at a turn and then I turn it all the way. Okay. I mean, that's just because I hit a bump that it kind of whipped out the back end for me. But hang on, can I just get like a clean, normal turn? All right, I was thinking it might, it might just slide just a little bit. All righty, guys. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new and already. And with that one, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.